<laughs> no. I don't shower in weeks. That's how you stay dirty like me. Oh, I'll hear you over there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. It's like an echo. It's so big. What do you think I was just doing? <laughs> We're Tom and Autumn. At the beginning of this year, we quit our jobs to work on our street food business full time. And when we weren't working during the summer, plan to travel the world. We bought our tickets to India, packed up our house, and then I think we all know what happened next. With the repeated lockdown and the virus spreading across the world, we started to get the idea that we wouldn't be able to go anywhere soon and decided to use our savings to buy a little house that needed a lot of work instead. This is our Victorian renovation story. Hello and welcome back to our Victorian renovation. Today we've got a bunch of different jobs to do. I'll be looking at stripping the paint off the banister. If you saw last time, turns out a sander wasn't quite as effective as I'd hoped. Tom is starting to rip down the ceilings as the builders are coming in two weeks time and the loft conversion is happening. We're lowering the ceilings on the first floor in order to make a little bit more head height in the loft conversion. So we're taking down those ceilings so they are ready for the builders to arrive. Martin is getting started on the cupboard below the stairs. We started knocking everything out, saw what we had to deal with, but there is a brick wall between the staircase and the dining room. So we are just finding a way to prop up those bricks, get the frame built, and then we can begin with the cupboards inside. So uh, what we've done here is we've now put water underneath the bottom of the post to fill all the gap in. You need to make sure it's complete filled underneath so there's no uh, voids. Now the uh, mortar's set, we're just going to knock this wood out of the way and then that's it. Now we've got a solid post and now we can uh, loosen off this acro prop and we can see that the post is completely level in this direction and in this direction. Good stuff! Yeah. Well, just removing the first acro prop. Woohoo! Oh, and the beam didn't move. Not at all. Fantastic. Nice. Oh! Are you okay? Oh. oh no, he got a bit of dirt on his <laughs> finger. <laughs> so far, so good. All right. Woo! The first. Official job of the house is done. Go team. Go team. Woo! <laughs> we are going to build some cupboards <laughs> underneath the stairs. Hopefully this is going to be a coat cupboard, this is going to be a storage cupboard. And our very handy structural engineer mate <laughs> has told us that hopefully <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Basically, we're just going to be removing some brick until we get to the point where the timber for the stairs is running and we're going to see if we can build a frame underneath to both support the stairs and create storage. Woo! Wall progress. This has been taken down. We now destroy inside. Tom has a very fun job of smashing through here. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at all that storage. Look at all these chickens. Oh, lovely. So our resident engineer Martin has created a cupboard under the stairs. All of this above was brick, the entire wall. So he's placed a piece of wood here to act as a lintel. And now he's just cementing in the bricks above so that that wall can continue to be supported. Down here, we're going to be creating a cupboard under the stairs. So I'll talk you through what we're thinking. Very cool fact is that the wood you just saw was actually the wood that we cut out to place the beam. So reduce, reuse, recycle. Isn't that right, Tom? Indeed, yes. We are currently thinking we can knock through here and then have a rail going across for coats. And then we're thinking on the opposite side down here, doing some shelves for shoes. So here is where we got to last time. Now we are giving this paint and varnish stripper a go instead. Apparently that should make it easier to come off, but 
We will see. So I've just finished all of them and I think it's working. I don't know if you can see the kind of bobbling coming off the paint. So <laughs> Tom's just <laughs> broken the door handle. <laughs> So yeah, I think from this here, we can see it's working. God knows how many layers of paint are underneath, so I don't know how many times it's going to have to work, but we're getting there. I'm just going to set a timer for 45 minutes, and I'll check back on that. It's time. The most dreaded job I think I'm going to do renovating this house is to lower the ceilings. I've got my sexy attire, my mask. How's this work? The finished look. Outfit of the day. You might want to take your mask off. So I haven't got this sexy attire for no reason. What I'm going to be doing today is knocking down the ceiling. So we're doing a loft conversion and to really get a good high up there, we do need unfortunately lower the ceiling by about 150 mil. Still, we've got really tall ceilings, so it's not going to look too bad. Um, and I think the important thing is leaving the ground floor with the high ceilings, the bedrooms doesn't matter as much. So because the house has been standing for over a hundred years, there's a uh going to be a few surprises when we rip down the ceiling. Uh, firstly, dust is going to be horrendous, so you do need a proper mask. What have you got? Just a dust mask, like a, a dust mask. Tom's um, also got this fabulous outfit in the back, uh, just because of how much mess it makes. All the builders we've spoke to so far uh, made it very clear it's going to be the worst job, so nothing more to do now than get started. See when everything's knocked down. This is absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. I'm going up. Whew. So you can now see the room below. It's proving a lot easier than we thought, but also a lot more dangerous because this roof is just falling. This bit's okay. Just knock it through. Just be careful of any wires. But if you look down there, that literally looks like death. Thankfully, the ceiling is just plasterboard and it's not gnarled and plaster that would make the job so much messier <laughs> that is it's almost too easy oh that is horrible Ooh. oh my god imagine doing this and now you see why no one wanted to do this and there you go. That's one whole bit taken down in what five minutes? Yeah. Not so bad. Easy. Clean up. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how much are you shitting yourself? Uh, a six. He says it's a long drop. Oh my god. Look at that. So this is what came out of our roof. This is the layer of dust that removing this tiny bit of ceiling caused. Disgusting. <laughs> and then there was two. getting real insight here we've just finished cleaning up or to the best of our ability cleaned up the back bedroom and now I'm going to be putting on a second coat to the stairs banister the last coat's done really well it's peeling off really nicely excuse the banging and yeah we're just gonna go in again Whoa! 
What is it? It's a bottle of beer. Maybe when they built the house, they were having a bev up here. Whoa, that's so cool. I mean, it's not quite a chest full of gold, but... No, no. What did we expect? And now to illustrate the shit show that lowering ceilings causes, here is a before. Get to work, Tom. And here you go. And there you have it. Let's just ignore that mess for now, shall we? So you can see here a lot of the bubbling has begun, which makes me hope it's going to be okay to take off. Got it running down all of the banisters as well. This is after two layers and about 40 minutes waiting on both layers. I think this has had enough chance and I'm going to see how far we get with it. Problem is there's just so many layers of paint on here. But I'm going to put this camera down and get to work. one of these, gonna see how this does. I don't know what to tell you. Right, those spindles. I must have scrubbed away at them for, I don't know how long. I've done everything I can possibly think of and that paint is just not coming off. It's getting to the point where I'm now scratching so deeply to try and get the paint off that I'm going into the wood below. Um, so I think there's gonna be a really uneven finish. I don't, I don't really know how long I should try on this before just admitting defeat and knowing that we need to get new banisters and spindles, but Plus we will be putting in new spindles for the floor above when the loft conversion gets done. So I'm not sure whether just to double up in quantities and buy some new ones for below, then the builders can do both of them in one go. I'm probably gonna give it one more crack and I'll update you from there, but it's not looking promising. Let's put it that way. You might be able to tell I'm obviously no longer at the house and we have come home for the weekend. This is where I'll wrap up and leave you. As always, please like and comment as it really helps boost the channel. And if you'd like to follow along on our Victorian renovation journey, please do subscribe. I upload videos every Wednesday where you can see us hopefully progress. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.